playing a bomb site together as often is the case. Oh, and KMG is crept out short while he can, but he's not got much room to move. Vinny keeps him trapped, and that's the same story for Lucas as well, who won't live long either. Bombs loose, VSM helping out, Henny jumping up. It's an absolute brawl on this A site, and even with a mid flank, Junior needs to activate faster. Both CTs are here. He's walking <coughs> with his knife out. He will have the backstab. No one is fighting for Fury. They're waiting for Junior to activate, and he's been spotted. Oh, no, this could still go so wrong. Junior is suddenly all on him. Oh, my. His two teammates in the site both get charged down, and he might face the same fate, Junior. Oh, this is not nice. This is not good. This could not have gone more wrong. And there it is. He's finally brought to his knees. Okay. Henny going to lock in the pistol for every reason we've said. And right now down 0 and 2, but that's certainly helpful. VSM falls off the wood, and K Serato catches him at B. Luckily enough, KNG keeps things even on that A site. We note though, Fury, our first weapon, or Asic, K Serato just opens up this B bomb site by himself. But I was going to say, based on utility, there's not a lot of flashbangs here on Fury, so a lot of dry peaks needs to happen. There is a lot of supporting aids, though, like the Molly and the Smokes. I agree though, like even if they are in a slump, absolutely this is not a game that you, you should be losing, right? The Furia, uh, clear favorites heading into this. I think for us, the question mark is really, you know, how good can Oplano really be against yeah. these? That is damn unique to them, right? They make it work in a way that other teams just can't. And on top of that, you've got fantastic individuals rotate. Kenji might get backstabbed, but if he gets there in time, he can kill oh, him. Oh, Vinny saw him. him. Yeah. Vinny saw him. He still gets a frag. He won't get any more. Vinny's so close on the flank, and now oh. Leo cutting off that rotate out of A. It's a mess. I talk a lot about that, especially when you have this is what I meant with even on a map like Nuke when you talk about people figuring you out, right? Especially when it is a map that you've been playing a lot. People are smart enough to this point where they start to realize even rotates and start to realize, oh, they're running this setup like that means that this area should be completely open. And see how much space Oplano gets there. Not letting those ladder flanks come in. Unless they want to go fast and just beat them to the punch. That works too. They've run past a rifle though. The smoke has provided cover for Henny and his Molotov has burn out another KNG is here to join the party and Henny's blown out all the birthday candles goodbye Furia four frags Man. easy stuff well Furia <laughs> have got the top ramp that much is assured Henny's gonna back out gets given a second chance at life the utils in four CTs here for Furia for Oblano rather rather for Furia to eat one by uh, one by one, Lucas falls and suddenly Opano is smoked off. Lovely spray from Henny. Art just gets ruined through that smoke. Junior responds at least. Arm not getting planted yet, and it certainly will help. The VSM has been killed through the smoke as now a two on four ensues with a flank from Leo. They're going to be aware of it. Look how wary they are to peek back down the ramp. They're going to double face when Junior has contact. A lot of money here though from Opano. So sure, saving two weapons. Definitely helps, but it is going to an A default. Oh, look, you've got this all peeking down. KNG holding for this man who's made it across. Finding out about this all, you might have to pay the price to get this information. Oh, KNG has missed his time. It's actually going to be Lucas. Sniping that first man out, K Serato rushes him down, and a miss shot from KNG gives you a little bit of room. Now you know about this all. It wasn't a miss shot, rather. He did get yeah. it. I was just late. Oh, a third for KNG. Never mind. Ramps closed. Furia, run away. Vinny's gotten up short as the lone survivor. Deals with the first, but now they know that he's here. The element of surprise is gone. The Molly. Heats things up for the man at Sandbags, but he's got reinforcements moved in. It's old mate Henny versus Vinny. Oh dear. Leo's going to get the better of him. And Oplano lock in that round. A big one out of KNG. Yeah, I mean, no nades here for Furia. So this, in terms of position-wise, probably the best case that you want for Henny here. It's a one-and-done kind of position, right? You should only be getting... Oh. I say that, but there's three here. He gets two. But if the... Shots are crispy. Maybe he just gets the one and it opens up the bomb site. Ooh, there was a bit of an error there, right? I think Lucas thought KNG was covering the run up into the bomb site. 
He gets sideswiped out of the round, but VSM's there to close it out regardless. Deals with... But I think this one we talk about as well, you know, the different kind of momentum. Sure, Fury is a very aggressive team, but it can also slow it down a little bit if they do realize that Oplano is playing it very aggressive. You know, that's... The... <gasps> what was that? What was that? I don't understand. Oh, what? Those shots were cr uh, absolutely... I, I don't have a word to describe it. Clinical. They still want to commit to this A play. They still want to go into this site. All three players here for Oplano. And they're just holding their ground. If Fury do want to commit, they've got to oh. be true with the A. But Vinny, while well, he's good for the trade, still two more up. It's Henny and VSM at the short side there to lock the round in. Lose this one, but they'd love to get a pop card and take some damage out, set themselves up. There's a one for one with Vinny going down. VSM has done some damage, and Art doesn't want to swing further than the double box. He might have to. The Molly's come in. He escapes for now. Leo's here hiding behind default as well, and no one's crossed in. They're going to give it another go with no flash. It's like lambs to the slaughter. Two on one now. Late lurk out mid KNG. Oh, he had to hit that, and now Kesarato with a chance. He's got a gun. It was him who in the last B play was the man to make it happen, right? Now he's got to do it again, does K Serato. K Serato's considering he does have, it. Yeah, he 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 ha he's he knows it. He knows. Oh. He slips it. I was gonna say it's all on the timing though. No one mid though. VSM's still in sport, he's keeping an eye on this one, but they can walk over connector and there's nothing he can do about it. Oh, yeah, that bomb cut loose in middle by VSM. Oh, that could prove to be the undoing of Fury. They've got to go back and get it. And right now, Art is a long way away. Wow. Leo, head on a swivel. And look at how hyped this guy is, man. And, well, that certainly helps. Lucas pushing down bottom A ramp, and the 1 AK gets an opening kill. KMG needs to hit these. They're getting closer, but he's only got one in the cannon. Yuri trades a free orb for Fury and a man up while Art Lurks B. It couldn't have gone better for them in this round. Everyone is now armed. They came into it with two guns. That same could be said for Oplano. So probably just hopeful, wishful thinking here. Trying to see if they can get the one quick kill. Maybe they'll go for it. Still a very unwinnable situation here for VSM. It's going to require both of these two Furia players to kind of peek at the same time and... Uh, really, even if Furia walk into this stack, they're not going to have too much of a tough time as long as some grenades go in, right? Molly's to the back, something on default, a Jenny smoke, and that can go a long, a long way here on this B bomb site. They're moving in, Molly's are down, back site is still a position to be careful of, but these pistols are too much of a threat. There they go, one by one, getting demolished, and it's only Henny on the wrong side of the map. Yep, good job for Furia there. Have plenty of nades to use, so no point. It's kind of the same for Inferno, right? Late round when you have all the nades. On the A side, and Henny is back on this boost spot. Will Junior see him with the orb? It doesn't look like it. Molly going over the site, Henny peeking, Junior with a kill, and Short is cleared out by Art. This is the best A take we've seen yet from Furia. Yeah, KNG is here as the first responder. Lost his only teammate that was nearby, and his fate's not too much brighter. It's just VSM to close out this first half of play. 1v5, and I tell you what, as good as VSM's been, uh, you know, this might be one clutch too far. He's got that big dollar sign in the middle of his name, Mr. Moneybags. Can he find anything? Can he even make this round exciting? No, Junior just going to snipe him from afar, and it's 6-9 to nine at the end of that first half. Out goes Leo. Lights out for Leo. Ooh. Now, four on five. Right, he might have tagged Case Serrat, but that just means he's a little problem for later on in the round. He's still waiting over here at the back left. KNG out in middle, dead to Art. So now this B play really does just come down to these three players moving in through Ram. Case Serrato is still waiting at the back of sight. Oh, ah, Case Serrato, no. you needed to find something my son but instead him and art fall right away and so suddenly what was once looking like such a good round for furia has flipped on its head the bomb is now planted oh plano they get in without suffering a single casualty on these players pushing up ramp and 
now we look at Junior and Yuri, left alive in this retake. Smoking a kit on Junior. Yuri, if he can get up ramp, oh, he tries to play and take his time. Ends up getting sent out of the round, and Junior's just got to run for the hills. Oh, Plano, they grab the pistol, they take it. Okay. Despite being a man down when that sight push comes in. That's, uh, that's uh, both pistols for Oplano this map so far, Dan. And you're right, it all comes down to just not hitting the shots. Kaser Auto, fantastic position. We've made the read. But uh, no one has walked up ramp yet. They won't hold it forever. They want to check. Oh, oh, uh, was there a flash? Was there anything? Yeah. Was No, there wasn't. They've still got their only flash. I'm not sure about that, Robin. Can you explain? I think they faked. I think Boplano did a small fake at, over at the B bomb site or something, or maybe yeah. in mid, and Art believes that it's you know a B in mid take. But yeah, very strange sequence there. Wild. Yeah, Junior. normally at these you tend to look out for a potential lurk, but not expecting Ooh. that. KNG is the look man at the time, though. that could look be in like a time. round winning spot. Like, with this aggression. Oh, he does need to watch. They deny, no, they don't deny the bomb plot, but still they deal with them. That's unfortunate for KNG oh, and massive. Junior with one point of health, Ooh. one HPV in the difference, is able to lock that round in. And Furia don't want to move with things going very quiet. The double boost over the wood and the smoke is a cool idea. Nothing has been found and the molly will make them go back. Now, if they want to hit A, they've got to leave right now, but it's in their best interest to go right forward into Vinny and that's what he thinks too. Another kill for the favor of Furia. Vinny gets flashed in for more, but he's dead. Henny with the entry. It's rather a T flash, leaving Art alone, waiting on his flank. Yeah, Yuri is everything in this round. They've waited Ooh. for him, but he jumps the gun. He oh, gives no. up his position. Art dies, trying to capitalize on the fact that Yuri's pulled the attention away. And Henny goes one step further to close the round okay. out. That's huge for Oplano. And look at the setup from Furia. It's going to be a really hard bomb site to hit here from Oplano. Four members will be real fast. Even Art has full control of A ramp also. It's the Ooh. first from Yuri. Really nice mollies as well. One on default, one on Tetris. Case Rato has nowhere to hide. Uh, Vinny's moving in. There's a bit of a timing. There's a gap in that smoke. He's walked through. And oh, lots of damage. Bomb dropped again. And it's VSM to trade onto Junior. He doubles up. He's making this round interesting still. 30 seconds. Forget the plan. It's all about frags. Yuri's here offering pressure. And a Molotov has come in. They don't know this both players, though. They're still considering the flank. When that orb fires off, that'll be all the info they need. Yuri's so low, and eventually, with Fury not giving these kills over, Oplano either have to get aggressive or plant the bomb. They're going for the former. Look at the fight. VSM hunting these players, jumping the orb, and all the info now for Oplano. They've recovered this round despite the advantage for Fury and all of the info in the world. Yuri, 10 health. VSM's on for the ace. If he gets Yuri here, he's done it. He's aced Fury to find 14 and break the money. VSM. Dead to Yuri, and now a chance in the 1v1. Henny, his old mate, oh and he's going to do it to him with the USP. What? The defuse is in for Fury, and Yuri, are you really going to do Henny like that? The dream is still alive. Eight is up on the board. The money is kept in check, and it's all on the back of that low HP Yuri fella. Rather go for the gunfights. Makes it a one on two with Yuri at 12 HP. I mean, unwinnable, he said. Two nice shots, and it's a fast mid take for Oplano. Lucas is the only one with the Deagle, though, but he gets himself an upgrade now for the kill on Junior. Oh, oh, what? What's happening? Vinny's throwing nades. KNG runs right past him for about 10 seconds before he realized and Art finally activates, but he's flashed out by Vinny, so it's not gone well for Furia, and it's getting worse by the second. This CT side tumbling down, and a one on four for Yuri. He just pulled out a massive clutch, but safe to say this one does not look like a repeat. And averaged at least over the minutes. This one. Lucas only has a deagle. He might have been spotted here, but there's not much of a rotate. Junior's kill KNG. Meanwhile, Leo just exploding and running around the corner pre-firing. He needs the cover to plant the bomb, but Vinny not going to be able to stop that happening. Not even stopping VSM, who is on a tear right now. Another opener. Four on three. Oh dear, they're throwing in the towel. 
I mean, I can see it, right? Yeah. Three on four next round as well. You would think for a tie, but like, no, with the money that you're at for Furia, why not take the gamble and hopefully get seven rounds in a row and take this to overtime? But I mean, even there, right? Like, we see it. Like, Oplano's timing is really well. Even walking up to be there, we don't see the peaks necessarily from Furia. And then once we do get spotted, then it's just run and gun, right? Let's take the bomb site. Hit the headshots at the same time. We mentioned VSM, Leo, DRK. Oh, and in a way, right, that player surviving, getting back into short. Well, now you're going to... Uh, uh, Art just got wall banged out. Also, that wasn't the short player. That that was not the short player they, they thought it was. Yeah. Yuri still alive on the short side. The bomb isn't getting planted yet. They're still looking for this man in the back. Yuri dies. The bomb not down. K Serato arriving late. Oh my God! K Serato oh. oh. tries to steal it away. You couldn't have asked for him to do more there, Ooh. but it is Oplano taking this map. The map <laughs> pick of Yuri. Last two times out uh, on Mirage, Furia have lost both times 16-6, one time to Forza and one time to Na'Vi earlier this month. So, scary track record, and let's not even forget the way that they just got shredded in their first map. It's not looking good for Furia in the pistol either. Oplano looking for three out of three in the series so far and two kills away from that. Yuri, though, a bit of a clutch player, dead in the apartments. And Keserato, too low health to even be considered in this round. One on three, and he's saving his armor. Oplano on the board, early as ever, and already this game heating up. My goodness, EG, Fury, a lower bracket match. One of those teams will go home, the other will keep fighting and survive. He's almost being like babysat into the team. And you know, yep. that's all well and good, but I think it's meaning that he's not involved in as many of these like swing engagements that he used to be so good at, right? Like for me, he was always a player who excelled. Like, you know, you, you'd come up against like a Triumph on Dust 2, for example, man. He would excel at finding you space with that all. And he was so comfortable, right? He would have a team that would... Junior pops off. I mean, you know, I think about the... 16-2 against Astralis on train. Junior was immense in that game. I think about when they took a map off Gambit, best team in the world. Junior dropped 30. That was on overpass. So he can do it. Uh, it's just something that happens incredibly infrequently. Yeah, right. And that's the question. How do you enable that consistency? Is it is it him as an individual? Is it part of his his position? His you know how he's playing in the team, the room they're giving him. I think when you speak about operas that as you guys are discussing in terms of playmaking, I think it comes down to just variety, right? Like you don't you don't want to see these operas taking the same spot over and over again. You know, our mirage going mid every single round, going for a yeah. pick because it's gonna be Yuri aggressive on an A ramp, right? You have Junior then essentially just blocking him off his flank, so to speak, and which is a totally fine setup. But when you guys do talk about impact, this is that defensive way of playing the off, right? There's obviously aggressive ways yeah. as well. Well, they're up by men, right? So all the more passive. And now not even giving these B players picks. They're up short all the way pushed to the arches. But with 20 seconds, finally a kill comes through for Oplano. Vinny gives up a frag. Keserato, they have no idea he's here. And he's going to drop some util just playing with them right now. They need to plant. They know that he's going to be the thorn in their side to stop that. It's coming in. Keserato can't deny it. He's only trying to bait them out. And Henny now in a 1v3 as his opponents come up from the short side. He knows... About two out of three right now. And he's piecing it together. Oh, he didn't finish the kill. He thought he had it. Junior's on the angle now. He can't swing out to try and trade. He will be dead. But he's locked into a nice passive position. And they've got to come to him. Another shot. Finishing Yuri and Henny in the clutch against his former team. Can he do it? It's looking likely. Two kills from Henny. And Junior, a shot from death, is saving in the 1v1. He doesn't even want in. He had no kit and no business winning it. Henny with the clutch. Oh my so goodness. So smart by Henny, right? As you guys note, like, it's not like Fury does anything wrong here. They have one guy holding the other angle. They have the other guy holding the <laughs> flank, right? Henny is not moving. 15 seconds left. They do get some openings, though. They still have Art here playing in the smoke, but he gets caught. And these rounds, oh. man, like, it's like, Oplano should not be winning some of these. But it gets chaotic at the end, and then the headshots get landed, and all of a sudden, 
a round that didn't look like an Oplano round turns into a Furia save. Yep, this is going to start getting embarrassing soon. Uh, you know, you, we've had a couple of save rounds back to back. Oplano at 7 and 0 on the T side. We saw how they, you know, blew away Team 1 on the T side of Mirage. You know, we were asking ourselves, is that going to be a 16 0? And even though Furia, much more capable team than Team 1, you would think. The outcome's the same. They just cannot stop this relentless aggression. It's another save for Junior, frankly, unless someone multi-kills on this top site, on this A site, rather. And, well, we've got nothing suggesting that will happen. I like the deep ramp smoke, though. That is a real problem. Oprano, 20 seconds. They've got to go through. And Yuri's dropped the bomb. He's going to spray down three kills from Yuri. It's about time we had a hero. And even though he's out of ammo, he's won the round, surely. They're not going to give Lucas the kills. And if he wants to go, he's got to grab that bomb and hightail it to the site. No chance here. Smoke's faded, open positions. And Lucas is looking for exit kills finally furia find a round and it is all off of yuri and that deep ramp smoke see something else to me that even screams you know there's still because yeah. that way if they do boost in and they go spawn you tend to hear it but here we see the round where furia they break the vents smoke rounds in and they make this play late completely disregarding the fact of like hey this is still a potential uh, super smartly done here by Oplano, and they're going for the hunt as well. They know they're ahead. They know that Fury is very low on money. They get both. Get both. Oh, of them, yep. worst case. Yeah, you just shouldn't have got out of bed. <laughs> Maybe they didn't, Richard. Maybe they got the laptop on the on the legs. I haven't seen. I haven't seen their webcams uh, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, maybe. No, the I, mouse I, is I, on the pillow. This this is so unbelievably upsetting. I mean. <laughs> You know, these are like double up buys as well. This is like meant to be Furious bread and butter. We've got Art and Junior with... Uh, insinuating anything. I'm not calling anything. This is still no plano match right now, but Furia, they're, they're pulling out all the stops. They're trying whatever they can. Junior finally in the right place. Finally kill in middle. But the drop into B is blinded and blinding for, VS, uh, for Vinny, rather. Just knocked out and the orbs are saving again. Again, just really nicely done by Planner, right? They spot the mid aggression. They say, let's rush B. I mean, I just love this as well, you know, because they've had so many round wins every time. Really poor performances. We've even had a chuckle at their expense, you know, running around like headless chickens on certain maps. But on the maps, they've got nailed. You know, this is it now. This is a statement of intent. They are going to batter Furia 2-0. It's definitely happening. I don't see a comeback happening. And then what does that tell us about the Brazilian scene and where Oplano are in it? That's a great question, right? This is a very weird timing. 20 seconds. Lucas waiting a little more patience as he waits for Henny to drop in. He's going to check it. Big frag from Henny. Yuri might rotate now. Oh, he does. Lucas waiting. You could not have asked for a better read on the situation. They are laughing. When they did this against Team 1, they defaulted for a bit. They didn't get any kills. And then they swapped two of them out they for swapped rifles. They rifles. Yeah, They're but they still have had that three. Oh, oh, they might not need rifles, Richard. Mate, I'll, I'll, I'll say this as well. We had questions about the overall level of, of this team. What were VSM and Leo going to do if they got a prolonged run? And how? what level could they hit? Those two guys have been amazing this tournament. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever you want to say about the problems, they've mostly come from, you know, some weird uh, Henny positional issues. Lucas not fragging. Maybe some dubious calls from KNG. VSM and, and Leo now can lay claim to be what... K Serato and Yuri were right, which is you know the the sensational rifling duo in Brazil. Oh no, he's going to close it one v one. He's got a plant. There's nothing that can stop Lucas. Not usually an Orpa, but learnt from his oh, family. No. And oh no, he gets off it. He doesn't believe. Gun out, looking for the kill instead. He doesn't know Yuri's crept up. This is claustrophobic, Oof. and Yuri's going to close it. Fury are hanging on by a thread, by the skin of their teeth even. Two rounds to their name, and it might be a 2-0 for Oplano. Join us after the break to find out how this one goes. They are going to have to do the unthinkable to get back in this game against Oplano. Oh. Lucas fires one bullet and he finds one headshot. Henny, it's a similar turn of events. 
CTs with no smokes, just running it dry, looking for gunfights, and they do pull one back, but Oplano peeking right out for the cubby. KNG gets two lives in one round, but finally is left by the wayside. Three on three now, VSM. That's bomb. the bomb. Art's got to be careful with that kill. And instead, he drops into middle. They're looking to escape. Oh. They're looking to evaporate. And the bomb's been dropped. Caserato killing his teammate at least gets that trade. That had to happen. Henny in a one-on-two. And Caserato putting distance. But it's all a ruse. He's walking back under to A. Vinny already in that CT spawn. So the crossfire is at least there. Looking for Caserato. Oh. He white swings. Oh. What's going on? No. It's like it oh. dropped the button. Oh my. It's like he drops the keyboard or something. Why does why does the strafe just continue there? They tried to double peek, but Henny wasn't wide enough that that CT yeah. player could see a thing. He gooshes the full health player first bullet. And, you know, they've just read them like a book. KNG saw the window player. He knows there's good info right now. Look at the con players. They got their eyes on it. No, it looked like he looked at a leg. He looked up as if to react, but... Oh, surprise, surprise. Art's here. Deagle out. Not in time. KG needs to be traded, but Art is doing everything he can to keep the series going. However, it might be bittersweet. Dropping middle is Leo now with a bomb, and he's faked the drop. He can climb back up window to where his opponent can be under or the con smoke. Two options, and one shot is all it takes. Three rounds for Furia. A lot of that coming from Art as well. Couple of kills from him. Potentially getting those that AWP setup. Oh, through the smoke, Henny catches Caserato trying to commit, and now going through one is Leo. He's had enough of this. He's dropped a little smoke to keep himself through the move, and he's going to hunt them at Tetris. He doesn't know when to chill. Five on three, the beginning of the end. Lots of damage done. Leo's just trying to close this series, and can I blame him? Not really. Lucas back at spawn. It's the orb still alive, but Yuri's so low. They're even scared about the flank. They heard that top mid aggro at the start of the round. Junior doesn't know where to look, and he's getting dinked. Lucas down low, but Junior even lower, and they can't cross. There's no smokes left up for Furia. They are getting whittled down. Junior holding on. One more frag, and well, now he needs them both. It's not going to be allowed. VSM to close, and 15 to 5. You're pretty dead, even though Henny's looking the right way right now. KNG going to call that they're out top mid. Now Henny needs to divert. He hits a shot. Oh, but he's stuck between both. And it's going to be KNG looking to trade. Trapped from top middle as well. Even though Junior's not peeking, he doesn't know that. KNG double mollied. Somehow stands above it all. Firewalker in ladder. What on earth? They may climb walls. They can't climb ladders. Those flames. And now KNG smoked out of the window. Looking to get a kill before it blooms. And he's done some damage to the follow-up as well. Don't tell me they're going to close on an eco. That's not allowed. Oh, my. No, this little fight in middle could decide a hell of a lot. Junior does not want to get caught sleeping. Case Serato comes in and deals with the man in lower. You were hoping that that was going to bail them out. But oh, oh no, back in the A bomb site is where Lucas has just torn the round away. And so now it's Junior. We've talked about this man a lot. He's faced with a 1v2. KNG oh, no. already in the site, guns him down. And that there is Oplano <laughs> picking up the victory. 2 and 0. Oh. And look at how much it means to the man. K KNG's having a mad one. Oh my. Oh, Plato. What He's a story. Sleep. <laughs> well, don't what you go game. to sleep. We're going to take a quick break and then we're going to come down and talk about the next.